Greetings RC fans, Moodogs from Moodogs Frugal RCs. We are outdoors in beautiful southeastern Wisconsin today. Today we're going to be testing this brand new boat I got in from Amazon.com. I'll post a link in the description if you guys want to check this one out. This is the JJRC Latitude. This is a 2.4 gigahertz radio system on this one guys. It's a brushed motor. It goes about yeah 15 or so miles per hour. That's pretty fun. It's got a pretty good range. Some pretty neat features on it as well. Let's take a look at the box. You can see the front, nice picture, uh, all in a nice matte finish on here. The JJRC logo, the latitude here. Uh, H is 14 plus on this one, guys. Use your discretion as always. Taking a look at the side of the box here, we can see 23 to 25 kilometers per hour. That's probably pretty accurate. 2.4 gigahertz on the radio uh, transmitter, 180 degree flip protection, so it does have a kind of uh, self writing or uh, you can write it by going forward and reverse. Uh, a low battery warning, so this transmitter will beep when the battery inside the boat is getting low. All right, guys, let's take a look and see what comes inside this box. All right, guys, the manual for the JJRC Latitude is pretty nice, kind of standard, small size, almost a pocket size manual from uh, JJRC. All the information in here to get your boat from uh, box to water uh, is going to be contained in here. Uh, all the pictures in here, all the diagrams are very nicely done, nothing smudged, uh, nothing misspelled really that I can see. How to charge your battery, how to install the batteries in the remote, how to operate the remote. I have a so small parts list here as well um, and I believe there's going to be uh, if there's part numbers I don't don't see any part numbers uh, displayed in here but I think you could probably go on their website and find out uh, what you need to know about this vehicle if you need any more information but hang on to that one for sure it's gonna give you some good information on getting this thing going we have our goodie bag here guys and we'll go ahead and see what's in here We have a little uh, stand here for displaying your model on a shelf or wherever you plan on putting it. All right, guys, inside the package here, we're going to get this little bow protector. Basically, this is just kind of a casing for the front uh, of the boat. Uh, I believe it's probably going to be more for transporting. And that just basically fits on the front here to protect the bow during shipment or during storage. Uh, I'm not quite sure if you'd want to keep that on. Uh, While well, you have the boat in the water, it's probably going to fall off. So we'll just kind of use it for display purposes. Uh, we have our USB to uh, balance plug uh, charger here. Uh, this one doesn't have a spec on it, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's probably going to be 5 volt input, uh, probably... I don't know, maybe 1.3 amp output on here. Not quite sure, but uh, it should take about an hour, an hour and a half maybe to charge the included battery. And I'll show you that in just a second. We're also getting uh, a spare prop. Right here, so you got your spare prop. You have a uh, nylon lock nut to install the prop as well so we'll keep that inside the bag here so we're not losing it and you also have a little hex wrench uh, to remove and replace the pro uh, propeller in the rear so kind of cool that they uh, did give us that as well the transmitter that JJRC is uh, supplying with this one, guys, is a pretty nice little transmitter. Uh, it has the JJRC logo screen printed on the side, so no stickers. Uh, nicely done there. You have your antenna up on front here. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a non-functioning, just-for-looks-only type of antenna. Your power switch here on and off. Uh, your steering wheel on here is going to have a nice padding on it. Really nice return spring. Feels really good. Uh, as does the throttle on here. You have a uh, kind of a serration on the inside of here a texture so in case your hands do get wet you can still operate this confidently on top we have all of our digital trim you have trim for your throttle high throttle low uh, you also have um, uh, steering trim left and steering trim right so pretty cool that everything is digital on there 
This one is going to require six AA batteries that get installed in this cover right here. I don't have the included screwdriver with me, so I apologize for that. But six AA's will fit on the bottom here to get this thing off and powered. So this has got a couple of different uh, covers on it, guys. You have this main hood here uh, that gets detached by this little toggle in the back here. So we can just kind of pop that one direction. And this whole shooting match comes off here. We'll set that aside. And you can see that we have uh, one, two, three, four toggles uh, to lock this and unlock it. So we'll go to the unlock position on all four of these, like so. And then this whole cover comes off here to reveal the inner workings of it. Now, this one is going to uh, include a 600 milliamp per hour lithium ion cell. Uh, you can uh, get lipos for this you, if you have a small enough lipo. It's a 7.4 volt, so it will take a 2S lipo, and that may just give it a little bit more uh, punch. Uh, still a fun little uh, boat as, as it is. This one is 7.4 volts at 25C, 600 milliamp per hour, about an hour, hour and a half to charge with the included charger if you use a, a higher amperage charger uh, that's fine you'll get the charging done a little bit quicker but don't go over five volts for the charge you want to make sure that you're not burning anything out uh, inside of the boat here we can see everything is uh, nicely put together you have this cooling system here essentially what happens is underneath the boat uh, we have a small hole I guess see where that is right back here this scoops up water sucks up water and the water comes to this tubing around this uh, uh, aluminum uh, coil that goes around the motor and actually cools the motor for you and expels the water on the uh, left side of the hull here so pretty cool there um, everything inside here is pretty water resistant uh, now I did have this out on the uh, water just recently I actually shot the demo part of this video before I shot this part so uh, you can see a little bit of water on the inside of this boat so you want to make sure that you're putting these covers on and making sure that these toggles are on tight I believe I believe this is going to be a 280 size motor you guys can correct me if I'm wrong or I will correct and post edit if I find out what size that little motor is but it is brushed okay you have your little five wire servo on the back here for your rudder uh, and then all your tubing and piping and wiring uh, that goes with it now this connector is going to be a standard kind of a two pin uh, uh, lithium ion type connector and I'll show you what that looks like here you guys can see that real quick uh, but easy enough to switch this off to like say a JS red JST and then you could use different type of batteries in here that's something I may end up doing I may end up actually building a little or making a little um, adapter to adapt to a red JST for this but let's go ahead and get this thing put back together and get it out on the water
All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below of the JJRC Latitude. Uh, brushed motor on this one, as I mentioned before, guys. A nice quality uh, build on the boat itself, as well as a really nice transmitter. We got a pretty good range on this as well, guys. I'm mildly surprised uh, at the amount of uh, range I'm getting with this uh, boat. Now, this is all stock. Nothing's been done to it. I'm using the lithium-ion cell battery in here, and I think this is just a really fun, uh, economical way to get into RC boating. Uh, if you guys got boats already, wanted to add another one to the mix, this is a great one to get. Uh, for the first-time boater out there or first-time RC guy out there that maybe wants to uh, take this along on a fishing trip or uh, just like I am right here at a local park in the pond uh, just zoom around great fun uh, now this is going to be a good gateway to getting other boats uh, on the channel I'm really kind of impressed with this now we have a low voltage warning buzzer probably coming up very very shortly here uh, not too bad on uh, drive time on this one is not too bad so six minutes and 54 seconds uh, of play time with this boat from a completely uh, charged battery not too shabby well if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down make sure to comment subscribe if you haven't already it really helps me out a lot we'll see you all in the next one and god bless the republic